Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So, today I want to come on here and go over the gear that I've been carrying for, my, for October for the $200 EDC challenge, because I'm done. <laughs> I've been carrying it for like a hell of a long time. Actually, I didn't start in October, I actually started before. So, I've been carrying this stuff since like the middle of September. So, I've done my month and then some, so I, uh, I, I'm just done with it. And there is actually a reason, but anyway, so the, 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 the parameters or so to say, I forgot how to use my tongue there for a minute. Sorry about that. The parameters were, you have to have a pouch, you have to have a notebook, you have to have a flashlight, you have to have a pen, a knife and a wallet. So those are the six things you had to have. And a lot of people joined in, um, a from EDC question mark joined in, uh, I believe, uh, Dennis from EDC for fun is involved. Jake from Uncommon EDC. A whole bunch of other people got involved surviving the daily. Uh, Evan, some people that aren't even actually don't even uh, produce videos are in. So that's super cool. It was an open challenge for everybody. So I appreciate everybody getting involved and I hope to see everybody's uh, like post carry videos. So super cool. So I carried this rough enough pouch um, and it's just a small uh, coin pouch uh, made by Rough Enough. It's made out of uh, Cordura. It's a pretty solid pouch. Um, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not going to take it all out, but I basically have a hank in here and some other things. I went over this before. I have a little pepper spray in there. Um, yeah, so I went over this before. This is actually a really good pouch. It's got high vis interior. It is orange on the inside. And I forget how much this was, but it wasn't a lot. It was like 20 bucks or less. Um, I got it on Amazon. So if you go to Rough Enough, um, you can check out their stuff. Uh, I believe Enrique um, actually recommended this to, this to me, and uh, it's actually super awesome, as well as the Chumsy recommended too. So, so this was my pouch for the uh, month of October, and um, it's really solid, and uh, it's small, compact. You can fit more in here than you think. It is a clamshell opening. It does have YKK zippers, and like I said, it's Cordura, so it's super solid. So I carried this all month. It's awesome. Um, my light was the uh, Royvon A7X GI TD glow in the dark um, flashlight, 650 max lumens. This is pretty awesome. It's got a whole bunch of modes. Royvon actually sent this to me to review, and um, ever since I got it, I've been using it as a everyday carry light. Even though I'm not really a multi-function flashlight guy, I am for this one. This one's awesome. I love it. I love the size. It's compact. I just threw this little leather lanyard cord on there just to you know be able to grab it better in my pocket but i've been carrying this and i'm gonna keep carrying this one though i like this so I, this is just uh something that's my everyday carry now it just turned into you know something i reviewed and something i ended up liking so i'm just gonna keep carrying it and uh it's pretty awesome so check it out uh if you get a chance on amazon it was on sale for like 28 bucks so check that out uh this is just a parker pen i was carrying i i have a pen and a bunch of other stuff in the pouch that I have, like a backup pen and a backup pad. And so there's quite a bit of stuff in here. But I carried an actual pen in my scrubs tops because I'm in nursing and I'm in the school now. So I need to uh, write stuff down. And I use the carry notes uh, from Harper Like Press. These are on Amazon. Check those out. They're like six bucks and under. Some are like four. I've got them for three. So Cody, um, these are made in the United States in Washington State uh, by Cody and his wife. So these are United States made, small business, so totally awesome. Really good quality. They're bound, they're not stapled. I beat the hell out of this notebook. It's in my cargo pocket behind a pocket and I carry it around every day and I put a, a, a pair of extras in front of it. So it's getting the crap beat out of it and I've had it for a long time. So definitely check out these carry notes. So I, I have an actual full size pen and a full size notebook. Like I said, I have to write down stuff in here about the people that I'm dealing with, like SpO2 and, you know, oxygen levels and all that stuff um, and a time. And so I have to have this before I chart. So I carry this. Then at the end of the day, I go through my notebook, wrote down, you know, see what I wrote down. And then I chart that way. So really useful uh, items. Love Parker pens. I'd have to say these are probably uh, my favorite like full-size pens that are out there. Um, they're really good. They've been around a long time. They're made in France. Um, this is one of their, uh, you know, not full body metal pens. This is just bought metal down here and this is plastic. And this one's like six bucks or something. So this one's pretty awesome. So um, it takes the regular Parker refills or the similar two Parker refills because now everybody has a rip off so you can buy it wherever. So that is the pen and the pad I carried. The wallet is the Chums Surfshort wallet. 
Love this wallet. Um, I made it into a kit, you know, on the back side. On the front side is my license, so I don't want to flip it over. But, uh, yeah, you put your IDs. I got, like, four or five cards in there, and then my driver's license. I can get some money in the back of that section. Um, this is a little pocket that is for a split ring to put a key on, and I took the split ring off, actually, and I put a... Uh, utility knife in there so I carry around that with a utility knife it fits in there perfectly then I have a little kit in here with some uh, band-aids some wet wipes a dude wipe some Benadryl and little three pieces of paper as well as a uh, F301 compact pen so even if I leave my house with nothing like say I don't have this pouch I have this all the time because it's got my license in it you know what I mean and my money so <laughs> my debit cards and stuff so I need this so I never forget this so I always got at least that so I have some things in here like, you know, little first aid stuff, little boo-boo kit crap. I got, you know, if I had to write something down, I got a pen and three little pieces of paper from a, a small uh, notepad, a Rhodius notepad. So I have that. Um, yeah, the only thing I really don't have in here is a, a flashlight, well, whatever. Um, so I got a knife in there because I have this, you know, this utility knife from Hart in there. So I got pretty much a lot of stuff in here in case I ever just decided to leave my house and I forgot everything. And I wouldn't forget this. So awesome, awesome uh, wallet. I would get another one, but I don't need another one right now. So when this definitely goes, I'm definitely going to get another one. But they last a long time. I've seen, you know, people say they've had them for like five years. So pretty awesome wallet. So I advise everybody to check it out. It costs 10 bucks. I think the most expensive one is like $15.99 because they came out with some new patterns. So they're not expensive. And they have all kinds of colors, all kinds of patterns. So there's something for everybody. So check out Chums. Also made in the United States in Utah by a small business. Super cool. And then... The reason that I'm done <laughs> with my monthly challenge early is the Sunbird multi-tool. And it's not because of this, it's because of me. Uh, the Sunbird multi-tool has this, this knife is awesome, honestly. It's a locking blade. I've used it for a lot of stuff, um, and it's really good. But the main reason I wanted to get it was because of the scissors, because I wanted to test them out. So I did um, really enjoy these are really high quality scissors and they work really well and I used them a lot and in school people elder people have used them for cutting stuff too so it works out really well um, these are really good they just don't work as well as they did in the beginning because I, <laughs> I used them for a pair of pliers and I kind of messed them up and I had to bend them back and everything so uh, yeah I'm done I wasn't gonna keep carrying this anyway it's just a bit too bulky for me um, as far as thickness goes like you know what I mean? Um, and it's not a deep carry clip either, so that's kind of annoying. But overall, if you like multi-tools, I definitely would say get something like this. I mean, I might still check into the Armbar Slim, but I'm more than likely probably just going to get the James Brand Ellis because I'm a big James Brand fan. And I also um, just ordered utility knife from James Brand. They just came out with a new one. It's called the Palmer. I just ordered that, so that's on the way. I will go over that as soon as I get it. Um, yeah, it looks super cool. Bunch of different colors. Uh, I think there's six colors. I got the coral one. Looks really good. Um, so when that gets in, I'll definitely come on here and review that. So it also has, this Sunbird also has a few tools back here um, that lock as well. And uh, I use that when I went away, the bottle opener. The, not really a fan of the screwdriver. It's a bit small, like a number one. I, I, I mean, if they had a bigger one, like a two, it would probably be better. But I mean, it's still there and it's useful if you need it. Um, but like I said, this knife is really good. It's a sheep's foot. It's about three inches long. Sharpened up really easy. Uh, it's 440A, and it actually is a really good knife. And like I said again, scissors, fantastic. Absolutely awesome scissors. They work really good. Very high quality. Um, they're just not pliers. <laughs> so don't use them for pliers. Um, I usually don't do stupid shit with my stuff, but I'm like, eh. I had to do it because there was a... See, see I won't even close right now. Like, seriously, I messed them up. But, like, um, yeah, I had to do something for one of the kids in school, and I was like, well, I don't have any players, so I'll uh, have to, you know, use this. So, I mean, it still works, you know what I mean? It's, like, useful, I guess. I just messed it up. Or maybe it's not useful. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, it was good before I uh, did something I wasn't supposed to. I'm going to give it to my son. He'll use it. So, super cool. But check it out. It's a Sunbird. It says it right there. It doesn't really have a name. It's, oh, Minimalist Multi-Tool. Sunbird Minimalist Multi-Tool on Amazon. It's about $24. I think it went up to $29, but it's worth it. If you're like somebody who likes, you know, this type of thing, I really just got it because I wanted to see if I would use the scissors, and I actually really did. Because I've seen, like I said, a lot of people online um, love using scissors. A from EDC question mark is actually one of the people who I follow, and uh, she uses them all the time, and I wanted to see. I was just like, see if I actually find them useful. And I, uh, 
I actually do. I, it's not that I don't carry scissors. I have scissors on me. I have some smaller, um, o, 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 I think it's uh, O'Coolahans or something like that. I forget the name, but those little collapsible uh, scissors I have in my uh, ouch pouch. And I got another pa uh, pair of them, and I put those in my new uh, Tika Designs uh, pouch. So I do use scissors, and I have. Um, I just can't use this one anymore, like I said, because I messed it up. So I've been carrying X shears. So X shears do not conform <laughs> to the uh, to the parameters because X shears are like forty bucks, and the case it came in was like twenty. So overall, it's like sixty bucks. But you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna carry the trauma shears. They're more school friendly because technically you're not supposed to have a knife in school, um, even though Massachusetts knife laws are very vague. And they say uh, that you cannot have dangerous weapons on schools. And technically, knives aren't considered dangerous weapons in Massachusetts unless you're using them in a dangerous fashion. So, you know, there's that. You can friggin' split friggin' hairs if you want, but I'm just going to carry the extras. So I don't have to worry about it. So that is what I have for this month. And uh, it's all really good stuff. Um, really enjoyed carrying it. Um, I really, like I said, even enjoyed this. Um, if I didn't do stupid shit with it, I'd still be carrying it. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? So this is all really good stuff. Chums is awesome. Rough enough. You know, this, this Roe Vivon. Love Harper like press and Parker. So hope you guys had a great $200 EDC challenge for the month of October. You guys have a great weekend.